those personal characteristics including all those which we have so far covered and plus the motivation is affecting their behavior, their attitude, their personality and how they behave, how they make the decision. So, we better understand this concept of motivation well. If we want to understand the other topics, when we will be going to a group dynamicism, people working together and ultimately to organization level, when we will talk about how organizations are working and what kind of difference they can create in the real world. So, what is motivation basically? A state of mind, desire, energy or interest that translate into action. So, that is the motivation, right? So, what motive you to study here? Similarly, another definition can be motivation, the inner drive that direct a person, what? Behaviors toward goal. So, what is motive for you to study this course? What are the motives? Okay? Kushna motive to hong in a job ko dry up kitter up kiz up kus goal kitter of lare kya bat kisun nes wakat. Up komajbur kare kya raton go jake lecture sone notes bane kitabon ko pare. So there must be some good motives there. And those motives are maybe it depends again vary from person to person. Some people go because they want to get good education. Some people are looking ahead, step ahead, ne? do you want to have a good job? Some people to go for study because they see that without education, they cannot differentiate between right and wrong. So, whatever motive is there, you are, you are goal directed basically. Those motive will, the inner, when you are deprived of something, right? वो चीज आपको उस डायरेक्शन पे लेके जाती है अगेन अनदर लेट्स सी अनदर डेफिनेशन यू कैन सी द स्लाइड द प्रोसेस दैट अकाउंट फॉर एन इंडिविजुअल इंटेंसिटी डायरेक्शन एंड परसिस्टेंस ऑफ एफर्ट्स टुवर्ड अटेनिंग ए गोल नो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थ्री वर्ड्स हियर की एलिमेंट्स इन दिस डेफिनेशन आर इंटेंसिटी हाउ हार्ड ए पर्सन ट्राई द हार्डर इट विल work mean more motivation there. What about direction? Toward you must have that uh, your effort should be directed towards a certain goal. Now, you see you can use this uh, part of the this the definition of motivation for your organization benefit because you want to make sure that all your employees are your worker are working towards specific goal. So, the more the motivation there is, the more chances are that those provided if you keep other things constant, yes, that your that effort, the persistence, the intensity of that effort will be directed toward the goal. And the last part is persistence and how long a person tries. So, three parts in intensity, direction, and Persistence. So, these three are basic elements which in this Robin book he, he has described it very important when we are talking about the motivation. Now, why do we care about motivation? One thing is, of course, when we are talking about individual, that is a part of that individual personality. When individuals behavior aspect, ko dekhte hai, us function is a person and environment. उस पर्सन के अंदर मोटिवेशन इज प्लेइंग वेरी वाइटल रोल नो बट बट लुक एट द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू लुक एट दिस स्लाइड यू हैव माइट हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इट इन द व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द ह्यूमन रिसोर्स मैनेजमेंट द परफॉर्मेंस इन एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट परफॉर्मेंस राइट परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ ग्रुप परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दे से दैट परफॉर्मेंस इज द फंक्शन ऑफ व्हाट ability motivation and opportunity now all three these components are very important 
the ability, the motivation and opportunity. Let us put them in the math mathematical model. When we are saying it is performance is the function of these three things. So, if you do not have any motivation for a particular job, you might have a good ability for that knowledge and skill. You might be getting good opportunity, but if your motivation level is 0, the whole performance will go 0. So, similarly other things. So, when we are talking about the ultimate the performance thing, the motivation is playing the vital role there. But let us try to understand the process of motivation. Again, this slide you have already seen it. I am that trying to bring the same old slides, couple of those, so that you should again recall those things. This is a situation. See, starting from the need. Need of what? Some more money. More money for unexpected medical expenses. Every day, you do not know what will happen tomorrow. You might be needing for your own medical expenses or your family member. Suddenly, this th new thing is there. Now, what is the intensity? What is the consistency basically here? How much important it is for you? And in our society, especially in our culture again, if you are talking about your family, they become more important for you. So, you have to arrange that money. Now, how much effort you can put? It depends. How intense the need is? Now, let us see, you desperately need the money to meet the extra expenses of medical bill or for yourself or for your family. Now, what will be the course of action? What will be the direction? Now, your it will come up, the goal directed behavior will be there. Now, what are the options? Option can be, if you have choice, you can work for extra time, our time, so that you can make extra money. And if you do not have that choice available, you might look for some other jobs. Okay, morning time, I will work here, evening time, in my leisure time, I am not going to spend at home or enjoy or play. I will go and work somewhere else evening okay, and try to earn more money so that I should meet that particular need of extra money for the medical expenses or for any purpose for that sake. Let us see if it is not also working. You are not getting a chance to go and work for another organization. What option do you have now? You might ask for the loan and your focus will be now goal directed will be to get a loan. If it is not working, what else is there? And even people can steal it, though it is not a good thing. But see how it depends what kind of need is there, how intense, how much intense that is, how much desperate you are to fulfill that particular need. So, either the alternative, whatever direction you, whatever goals you have, so your behavior will be goal directed toward those available options. And more the drive, the maximum effort you will put. The more the need is there, the more you are going to put extra effort there. And see, your motivation level will be high and high more. So, it will goal, basically it is goal directed behavior then. So, let us assume you are getting any option. You might be getting pay raise, you might be getting our time, you might be able to, you might be able to get a job, evening time and that is how you are able to achieve that goal of earning extra money so that you should be able to pay for extra medical bills. And see the how the process of this need related motives, motivations were kind of directing your goals, directing your efforts toward a goal achieving behavior. That is how this 
motivation work that is how those needs they will shape up your kind of uh, behavior toward a specific goal and now today we are going to discuss few need based theories because i if you are following the robin book there is complete chapter on different theories i'll try to just focus on couple of them today and then in le next lecture maybe we'll try to discuss more i know when we are talking about theories or history or these type of things it becomes sometimes boring but still we have to understand what was the relationship how these things were evolved and then try to understand the basic concept and philosophies fine with you okay let's see the phases of motivational process and we will talk about with reference to the organization set up the work behavior employee identify needs first thing of course when you are de deprived of something that is how the inner restlessness start and that is how you are you are directed towards certain goal achievement so need is felt and you search for satisfying these no those needs some alternatives how can i get this like in previous example we discuss for the need for extra money to pay the extra medical bills the third part is employee select goal directed behavior okay this is the best option i can have i can get an extra job or i should go for borrowing the money or whatever as we discussed in the previous example and then you go and do it like if you are you have picked that i'm going to go for evening shift job somewhere extra for extra earning you will do that and then employee receive either reward or punishment if you are action was toward positive thing and you have performed as per their requirement you will get the reward and your need will be satisfied those basic driver your motive is basically there and if it is other way around your motive are negative you might be getting punishment and then the last step is again employee reassesses need deficiency and then maybe next day next time now you will be having a different deficiency now it is not the money maybe it is a recognition you want to have the recognition it might be that you want to have the status you want to go for the next stage it might be that you want to have the transfer that you should get a job position in some some particular areas and so on see that is how every time you go around and you reassess your need deficiencies you pick the identify your need deficiency and you again search for alternatives go for the best choice do it get the consequences like reward or punishment and then this is this is the whole cycle and the thrust behind all this whole process is the basically the motives what motives do you have and again it relate with the intensity of the lead 